There's a new exhibit at the New Mexico History Museum, and it's only going to be there for a limited time. For the first time here in the United States, the exhibit debuts more than 100 documents from the first 300 years of Spain's exploration in North America. And joining me to talk about it are Francis Levine and Joseph Diaz. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. It's great to see you guys again. Now, I went to the, I actually went to this exhibit, and I have to say, loved it, loved it, loved it. I couldn't sleep. I actually st stood awake doing my research on it, and I was like, when I went to see it, I was like, I was in disbelief that I, here I am looking at all this wonderful stuff. I was just amazed. Tell us, what, what is this exhibit about? This is an extraordinary opportunity for New Mexicans um, to see this. This is a collection of more than 130 documents from the Archivo General de Indias in Seville, Spain, and paintings from the Real Academia de Historia de Arte, uh, San Fernando in Madrid, Spain. And they're the documents of the first experiences that the Spanish explorers had in North America. Uh, of course, the earliest is in New Mexico and um, in the Gulf Coast, earlier even in the Gulf Coast, and then New Mexico, Louisiana, Texas, California. And they're the documents of those first conversations, those first explorations that uh, Spanish explorers had to see the native peoples and native lands of North America. And it's extraordinary that they've all been brought here for the first time to New Mexico and to the U.S. Right. And Dr. Levine, you are the director of the New Mexico uh, History Museum. Yes. And tell us, how did you get this exhibit here? Uh, it took a certain amount of lobbying. Uh, I can this uh, part of this exhibit, most of it was together at the Archivo General de Indias in Seville. And um, it, it, members of our museum community visited Seville and said, you have to see this. And so two years ago, I went to Seville uh, and saw documents, documents that had been written in our own Palace of the Governors, documents that had been written uh, during the exploration of New Mexico and uh, our surrounding uh, borderland states. And um, we started talking with the Spanish government, the Ministry of Culture, and because it was the 400th anniversary of Santa Fe, it sort of coincided to bring everything together here uh, in Santa Fe at the New Mexico History Museum. And because some of those documents had been written actually in the Palace of the Governors, that was really, I think, what impressed the Spanish government enough to really work with us to allow us to bring the documents to New Mexico. Right. And Joseph, you're the curator. Right. And so what? why not the Smithsonian? Why was it the New Mexico History Museum? And, well, like, and, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, like Fran said, much of this early history happened in New Mexico. What a better place is to bring it back home to Santa Fe and expose it to the people of New Mexico. So that was one of the reasons why um, the Archivo chose us as one of the premier places to show this exhibit. Right. It, it will actually be in three places. So we premiered it at the History Museum. Correct. It opened uh, several weeks ago and it <coughs> closes now January 9th. So we're coming to the to the end of it. We really want people to get in there and see it. And what better time than during the holidays when Santa Fe is so beautiful uh, right. than to come to the History Museum. And then when it closes, it will go to El Paso. And then it closes in July at the um, historic New Orleans collection. And for so many people, they don't even realize that that uh, that New Orleans was once part of Spain as well. Mm, right. So to the uh, viewers at home, how much time do we have to actually go see the exhibit? The exhibit is there until January 9th, um, and we're open six days a week, Tuesday through Sunday. So mm -hmm. you have till January 9th. Yeah, right. and if they don't see it here, they can travel to El Paso, and then from El Paso it goes to New Orleans. But why travel to El Paso? Come see it here, yes. really. And it looks so it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is. It's and, amazing. And that's one of the things I appreciate about the exhibit. Actually, it wasn't something that, you know, it looks like someone just put a whole bunch of documents. Hey, okay, I'll put this here, put there. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of thought put into that. Tell, tell me about that, Don. Well, you know, some people think when you put in a museum exhibit, it's like creating a stage set, or, mm -hmm. and you, you know, put a little bit here, a little bit there. But there's actually a storyline in any exhibit, and so it's divided into ten sections, and then within the sections are the stories of those first contact experiences. Um, those, those documents were then arranged so that it shows the early conceptions of geography of North America, and then uh, the way roads and trails developed in, uh, in North America. So it's that combination, and, and what we do is... Uh, 
it's it's not simply interior decorating a right. room. And there it's we really see a shot of it, and it's beautiful. Out. It's yeah. a it gorgeous installation. It? I, designed, I just loved it. And mm -hmm. it was designed by the New Mexico History Museum staff. Mm -hmm. right. uh, our our um, uh, exhibition designer and our graphic designer, our staff members, Caroline Lejoie is our um, exhibition designer, and Natalie Brown Baca is okay. our... Uh, is our graphic design. Well, great. Well, we, we encourage everybody to please visit the, the museum. Uh, actually, the Threads of Memory, wonderful exhibit. Thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank